Okay. Um, in his book, uh, uh, Hacker Manifesto, Mackenzie Ward uh, accuses education of being slavery. Some of the reasons he gives are out there. Uh, in order to oppose the enslavement by education, Mackenzie Ward uh, proposes a hacker class. Uh, this hacker class, he says, should be uh, and working on turning knowledge into information and then creating new abstractions that can bring this information in direct collision with daily life, therefore educating or imparting information in a new way that is non-enslavement. Uh, 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 this way, hackers don't really stop dealing only with code only and with computers only. They start dealing with culture in general and particularly with education. In this spirit, I propose that the language of internet memes, visual, concise, and inviting, and, and easily and replicated, easily remixed, and easily reusable, could be harnessed into educational, into educational instrument by uh, applying this theoretical framework where, which uh, emphasizes the system's connections of rhizomatic theory uh, uh, or creates uh, horizontal dialogue and uh, Mark America's remix theory, especially his, his idea of source material everywhere, which means everything can be reused, everything can be remixed, and everything can be turned into an educational uh, object or uh, opportunity, a learning opportunity. Uh, all of this uh, could potentially turn into something that I'm calling a hack education, which is a very rough concept. Now, this hack education concept could take the form, could take many forms. Right now, I am working on a series of animated GIFs, just like this one, which deal uh, primarily and specifically with contemporary art. Both of these pieces uh, are, are contemporary art. One is uh, For the Love of God by Damon Hirst, and the one at the bottom is um, Bouncing, Bouncing Skull by Paolo Garibaldi. The idea of these animated GIFs is to put two uh, contemporary uh, art pieces in dialogue with each other and then send these uh, or disseminate these animated GIFs through social media like Twitter, like blogs, and have them insert into uh, other um, into ongoing conversations that might be happening at the moment. This animated GIF in, 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 in specific was made to, ins to be inserted into the conversation that was happening last October uh, around the whole Occupy movement when, when it was really kind of blowing out and blowing up. And of course, uh, some of the questions that can come from this is, well, who's Occupy and who, why, is uh, Damon Hirst's uh, diamond encrusted skull on top of this little kid that's bouncing, that's playing around with a bouncing skull in what it appears to be a uh, bomb out, which it actually is, a, 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 a NATO bomb uh, uh, city. And what are the uh, implications of, of this uh, piece of artwork being in, in, within this conversation about occupation? and about disruption, and about imperialism, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is very much an arts-based research project. Uh, as you can see, it has nothing to do with Wikipedia really. It only has to do with uh, uh, in, uh, freedom, uh, free exchange of knowledge, and flow of information, which I guess in some ways do that does apply to Wikipedia. Uh, I'm a PhD student in art and visual culture education in the University of Arizona in Tucson, and I'm an art professor in the University of Arizona as well. If you have any questions.
Artikel auf Jürgen Freud war nämlich wieder aus der Subject of my Journal Thesis. Jürgen Freud war, ist probably the most important German Jewish author of the 20th century. Als Daten auf Doctoral Thesis in 2008. was a member of Gruppe 47, and concluded, it's the outsiders who provide really all of the content. My finding shows something similar. Only a few editors, outsiders, and insiders provided significant content to the three articles about the Infoitra and the Infoitra. The Wikipedia author, Ed, showed in his work uh, on the socket, socket puppets in Wikipedia the methods to research authors in Wikipedia. Like the name of my uh, professor, Tilly, a researcher should be investigated by the police to detect me. Wiki administration of the old wikis helps to understand the functions and limits of the framework of Wikipedia depends on. Media Wiki is like a big file center. Google Wiki doesn't need a database and access that like a speed code, which is more convenient for projects with millions of users. Uh, I've been to the Wikimania conference 2009 in Lanz, and I wanted to know what's going on elsewhere in the conference. Instead of the conference, wiki, group, channels, messengers, text messages on the phone, the most up-to-date information was available on Twitter in 2010. Shari Turco published in 1995 a live on the screen identity in the page of the internet. Uh, back then you have got a perspective of the subject. Why not think of the students as gamers, for example, or why do millions of people post text and images to Facebook all the time but don't know how to edit a good page? Uh, my motto for my diploma thesis about Ian Freud Banger and Wikipedia. I choose from uh, that from Brett and Valentina Spalini. It's the chorus in the drive drop in the front. Not he is wise who makes no mistakes. He is wise who knows how to break them easily and quickly. Point one and rest in a lifetime. Bodies and the title by Dr. Booker Free Penis Opera was created by the Internet. Um, my motto for the doctoral thesis while researching about the better Wikipedia is by Sandro Packet, uh, fail again. And uh, this uh, says the same as the Indian drag that is described in my opinion in the Wikipedia online encyclopedia perfect. And the model, my model for the Wikipedia Academy 2012 is from a movie which will be listed. Does anybody know? <laughs> Please. Space flight. Oh, okay. Is it called Space Yes, Thank you. It is 10% of work. Okay, thank you for listening. My name is Katja Grashöfer. I'm a PhD student at uh, Ruhr University Bochum. Um, today we are in Berlin. Berlin is a place where history was made. So, do you remember the fall of the Berlin Wall? I think, for sure, there are immediately pictures coming to your as well as to my inner eye. And the Berlin Wall was teared down in 1989. This is already 23 years ago. It is also 23 years ago that the Love Parade was founded. 
The Love Parade was a huge techno party which had taken place here for several years. It began as a demonstration for love, peace and the power of music. Over the years it lost its former character, which was more or less political, changed its locations, but still remained a big, noisy and entertaining electronic music party. In 2010, it came to Duisburg and ended in disaster. The overcrowding of the festival entrance caused a mass panic. 21 people were killed and about 500 others were wounded. The topic mass panic at Love Parade appeared on TV, newspaper, radio, and it disappeared. You just forgot about all this, or perhaps you haven't even heard of it in detail? Well, probably you won't be the only one. The Love Parade is not on collective memory. The fall of the Berlin Wall is. Historically meaningful events become part of collective memory because they are considered to be substantial regarding self-image and identity of a society. Those events gain significance not only on an individual but on a collective level. Collective memories rise from the past, but they are characterized by their importance for the present. Contents of collective memory are social relevant knowledge of today and encyclopedias collect such knowledge. Lemmas like the American Revolutionary War, the French Revolution, even the fall of the Berlin Wall are expected to be explained in an encyclopedia. But the Love Parade Stampede, it is a less far-reaching event, a catastrophe for those who were there, for their friends, for their relatives. But the event did not reach the point of significance to become part of society's collective memory. In conclusion, an event like the Love Parade Stampede is not necessarily expected to make an own article within an encyclopedia. And in fact, it does not exist as an own lemma in most of today's encyclopedias. But it exists as an own lemma in the most popular one, in Wikipedia. What does the existence of the article tell us about the social relevance of the event? And is this event now, in a way, part of collective memory due to its publishing in an encyclopedia? From my analysis, I can answer so far, the existence of the article is a proof of relevance regarding a specific social group. But the status as an online encyclopedic article is not sufficient to consider the content being part of the collective memory. Memory culture is changing, also because encyclopedic culture is changing. Editors and experts are replaced by access to the internet, user skills and special interest on a topic. The article Love Parade Stampede is a result of a shared writing process. Therefore, it can be modeled as a form of shared memory, like Margalit says. He spoke of shared memory as a division of mnemonic labor. Shared memories are not necessarily collective memories regarding society, but they are shared comments regarding a specific group of people. The relevance of shared memory cannot be measured by the quantity of group members, but by the intensity of affection and the engagement of individuals, which built the group. Schmidt speaks of narrations as performance. Remembrance needs narrations, which are performances of memory. So Wikipedia functions as a platform for these performances, and it offers space for narrations of remembrance. By doing so, it becomes a place for a new dimension of memory culture. Thank you. Um, my name is Carl Schaber. I'm a Brazilian from uh, the University of Sousa. It's a pleasure to be here in this weekend. Um, 
table to talk to the workshop. It's more part of my PhD class. I finished this last year in a higher education program of Pozzini in the Federal University of Human Rights. Uh, in this session now, the title is Cell Organization and Emergency in Reproduction within Biologies of the University in Portuguese. It's a part of this thesis that is going to be. Uh, we try to discuss uh, Wikipedia as a complex adaptive system that's purely based on the complexity part uh, and two of the main uh, characters, uh, concepts of this theory is self organization and emergence. Uh, according to these two authors that made an important uh, literature review uh, about this concept, uh, general self organization has four uh, main characters. Uh, those can control adaptability pretty good. Uh, those most can control adaptability in increased noise. Uh, emergence is characterized by uh, a radical novelty, a micro market fact, robustness and flexibility, and decentralized control. So we try to identify these how these uh, characters uh, could uh, appear in the articles we are going to discuss. Uh, as the critical research, we try to uh, we, we work with both quantitative and qualitative approach. Uh, the quantitative, we develop a very simple but very uh, efficient uh, tool software for us. We call it the Wikipedia Analyzer EP. Unfortunately, it works only in Portuguese Wikipedia. We start uh, data from 90, uh, 91 articles, biographies, and then we find a approach. Then we analyze the history pages of five uh, biographies, we're going to, uh, to tell uh, which are them next. Uh, we'll consider all the editions since the creation of the articles until that day when we collect uh, the, the data. Uh, there are some of the, the, the variables we were expecting, not all of them, and also we visit all the editions in the history page, so we try to reconstruct the history of that, that article. Uh, these five biographies, in my thesis, I wrote about uh, 20 pages for the most important ones, and 10 pages uh, just trying to describe what happened uh, 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 during the directions of the leaders uh, uh, during the years. So uh, these five biologists uh, were two, two groups. The, the uh, three one, who is Frankie Martins? This guy is a journalist and he was working as a secretary of communication of Lula President. Uh, Katja Brill, she is a senator and, and she is very known for defending the agro business in Brazil. So, it's very important. And uh, Ricardo Teixeira, uh, he was the president of the Brazilian Football Confederation, not anymore, uh, the last this year. So, these three articles have kind of 90 editions, just for uh, uh, 92, 95 editions. Uh, and what, uh, of course, each one has a different history. Uh, but what they have in common? Uh, they have uh, 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 irregular distribution of the digital degree that allows here. Here we had uh, in of these. Uh, a low average of the details per, per month. Uh, periods of editions are related to the inclusion of current events in less only a few hours. Um, uh, low average of the bits per edition, all these data are in poster, you will have to present them. And so we, we can say, not based on, on these facts, of course, or this app, of course, that it happens that uh, occurred self organization in this, but it didn't, uh, the deliveries didn't happen. This two other ones, they are famous uh, football players, we call them not them, at the end, we play it in Rome, here, here. And one of the most famous football players, they, they had in fact they had a, a thousand um, uh, a, a thousand editions each one. Uh, in, in what in both of them you can see there's an image, there's a micro market fact, but there's a difference. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I was very compacted, so was self organizing, and at the end, that didn't happen. So it's a pleasure. My research is more, it's better than. My name is Georgi Stakic and I am from uh, Belgrade, Serbia uh, and I am Wikipedian for, uh, for uh, eight years and I will talk about information extraction on Serbian Wikipedia. Uh, it's about uh, <coughs> uh, extraction information from info boxes because uh, in that part we have uh, uh, more information uh, about a uh, person uh, and uh, we, we can extract uh, uh, pairs of, uh, of information and we can uh, make a database about uh, uh, that information. And first step uh, is about to identify uh, uh, types of info boxes because we have uh, uh, because we have uh, a very big uh, number of info uh, boxes and because that we can find uh, important uh, for Wikipedians and uh, for information extraction. Uh, and uh, another important uh, uh, thing in, the, in identifying uh, it uh, is about uh, uh, stub articles uh, for uh, biographies and uh, uh, when uh, we used uh, that info boxes and uh, stub uh, part and categories uh, we can uh, make uh, uh, big uh, 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 big data from Wikipedia and I think that will be important uh, for global uh, data and uh, uh, for example Wikidata which we, uh, which we heard uh, in, this, uh, in these two days. And uh, uh, because in Serbian Wikipedia we didn't have uh, uh, research uh, and I think uh, that is first uh, step in that uh, uh, way for research uh, and uh, 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 because that uh, smaller and medium Wikipedias have uh, uh, some uh, biographies that isn't uh, on uh, some bigger Wikipedia like German or English and uh, uh, because when we extract information from them uh, the, uh, then uh, global data will be uh, richer for that information. And because uh, that is just a short presentation I uh, didn't uh, I, uh, I prepared all information about this first uh, step in research, but, uh, but I think the, uh, that research will be continued and uh, that we uh, can extract uh, more infor uh, important information from these uh, articles. Uh, <coughs> and why we became, uh, uh, is uh, Serbian Wikipedia because uh, that is Wikipedia where I am a uh, user and administrator for uh, f uh, since uh, 2004 and because that I have uh, some experience about working on Wikipedia uh, but I think that, that uh, way can be important for uh, Wikipedia's uh, other Wikipedias uh, be, because we, we, uh, 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 we wrote uh, we wrote uh, bot a script in Python and use that for information extraction but uh, that way is good way uh, for information extraction from uh, uh, Wikipedias uh, in other uh, uh, cases. <coughs> uh, and in conclusion, I think uh, 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 that will uh, be a good project if, uh, if 
uh, uh, that will be part uh, for more global data of all Wikipedias. Uh, thank you and sorry for my uh, bad English. Berlin culture, Berlin 
different songs is also selecting uh, one uh, one bit like this. You can download all pages about that, about this pages. Okay, these are two different points of view. In the Wikipedia point of view, on uh, building or building we obtain a more accurate, uh, accurate corpus. In this way, using the graph view, using the um, story academy, we can obtain a large corpus. Okay? Okay. This this solution is uh, we can obtain a, a bigger corpus, but we will introduce more noise. Okay? We are building to combine this uh, this representation to obtain a more accurate corpus using the Okay? Thank you. My name is Stefan Lil. I'm a PhD student at the University of uh, Innsbruck in Bavaria. Um, I am at the institute, uh, the name you don't have to remember, we change it every year, so <laughs> 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 not my fault. Um, I'm going to talk just five minutes about uh, my PhD thesis uh, um, and uh, to understand what's here on the poster. You have to understand what's the result. And uh, so I'm going to talk most of the five minutes about the result. So the result is uh, um, a concept uh, mainly from biology. The prime example is the ginger, which has uh, those bigger structures and the smallest. The bigger are the nodes, the smaller which connect them are the internodes. And you see, ginger is a connected uh, uh, structure. And um, it was uh, 1976 when two French philosophers, Deleuze and Philippe Guarri, uh, talked about it for the next time and they uh, came up with the idea that it's a concept in philosophy which is based on the biological concept of the zone and they call it the same zone. And they published it. It's a very small book. It has like 70 pages, and you should buy it. It's a great book. It uh, will enlighten you. And it's the foreword of a much bigger work, A Thousand Plateaus, which is also cited uh, by Nestor Leon de la Rosa. He has it on his uh, poster too, um, which has I don't know 1,200 pages or so, um, which are also great. Um, but take much longer to read. <laughs> um, so, and the concept then moved onward to, to art. Many artists uh, thought about the result and uh, they made structures just like in biology and um, connected them with the concept of result in philosophy. Um, there are many examples. Uh, one which uh, brought me to my topic is Veronica Schneider. She made uh, this structure out of uh, puppets. She uh, removed the heads and connected the bodies and the arms and the legs. Um, so, it's up. Um, <laughs> and there are other <laughs> artists too, uh, which uh, thought about it. And um, the interesting thing is, in my opinion, many artists do art with the zone without talking about the zone, but they talk about networks, or they call it internet art, or new media art. Um, you can see it on online platforms like rezone.org. <laughs> uh, again, the result. Um, so take a look at it. You will see many examples of new media art, which is just like this. It's about connections and the movement. Um, information moving from one part to the other and I, in my opinion, agree it's just like this, like uh, the ginger or like uh, the puppet result and it's connected the, the article pages with links to other pages um, and uh, this is my concept of a new, more automatic Wikipedia. It's just an article page of the result, again. Um, and I remove uh, really nothing, I just moved the images to the bottom and I added links to the side. I removed the categories which would be here and I added a new 
element, which is uh, this right here. It's not fancy, but it's uh, what it should look like, just about, okay? Um, so in the center you have the current article, the result, and you see where it links, like underground stem, <coughs> and, and so on. And if it links back, or if it links further to something which might link again to the zone. So you see a great structure. So I think time's really up. Um, if you have any questions, just grab the card and maybe. Thank you. I'm Miquel and my colleague David Moreno, we are from Barcelona, and Miquel of Wikipedia, University of Rocabra. Uh, we are going to present very fast uh, our extensive survey to readers and writers of Catalan Wikipedia because uh, we discovered it, it is a useful way to uh, approach the whole community, to obtain some information and give it back as feedback. So what we did uh, initially was to uh, start uh, revising all the previous surveys in Wikipedia to see what was approached. So we decided to create uh, the best, uh, most extensive in uh, use, promotion, and uh, also addition uh, activities uh, in Wikipedia. So uh, our, the other surveys, what, what they mostly did was motivation and profile. And we wanted to know more information because we, we consider that the, the models could be reframed to specific problematics that would only attain particular communities like ours. And also, what we did was using the, the site Naughty as a space in Wikipedia uh, to promote this, uh, this survey and then divide the answers for editors and also for readers. So both they would answer the, a large uh, well, a portion of questions and then uh, editors they would answer with the field that they were dedicated to their activities. And what we found was that the average uh, editor was uh, a male of 23 years old in the university uh, <coughs> studies uh, uh, period of time and that it was became uh, in the 30s and 40s and that especially like any other uh, survey to global women was underrepresented on a, with the 20 percent like taking both the portions editors and readers and only eight percent on taking uh, editors what we saw as well, that was the, uh, the PhD portion was, was very, very uh, little. That would be something to work on. And, and then we, we went for the use and promotion. And we saw that uh, the use that people was giving to Wikipedia was mainly as a first uh, source of information, a place where they would satisfy their curiosity in a precise moment. And also that the humanities uh, topics were the most uh, consultant. This does not differ that much to the, the global survey. If it was not that, because uh, when we asked for promotion, then we could know what was interesting to invest time as a community. And we saw that education as a part of society uh, should use more Wikipedia and also cultural associations and uh, libraries they could uh, implement or in introduce Wikipedia users uh, in a more official way. And also that uh, if uh, people were give, uh, giving the occasion to, to give their opinion about uh, what, how many things they, they should be funded, the most important were servers but also research. Uh, finally, regarding uh, edition, we saw that uh, there was a, a new reason that we suspected that was that promoting the own culture was important uh, for the Catalan uh, writers as well that uh, editors, the, they preferred editing on topics they knew about even more than the, their involvement in the Wikipedia movement. This was surprising since uh, other motivation surveys they said that ideology for, was one of the main reasons and also fun, fun of doing the activity but also the, the love for the content they are writing about. And this was uh, something that we, uh, we thought as well that was true, is that the Catalan writer, the most active were more active than the, the average. And, and that's uh, also a key for our, our community that we are very coordinated. And also we saw that giving a qualitative space uh, in our survey would give interesting results and and people were answering that uh, Wikipedia could improve in usability, in the community dynamics of communication, 
also that uh, they should avoid uh, some kind of bias in politics or any other topic. So finally, as a conclusion, we saw it was useful because it, it was a, a tool for democracy inside the community. So we could set more uh, accurate or focused uh, goals, knowing what they, they thought about the current use of Wikipedia and current development. We saw that uh, the method was right because uh, the previous research was, was done very uh, accurately. And so we only needed to reframe it and to uh, use it uh, better to our context. And finally, that uh, mixing uh, also quantity with quality was very useful uh, in this case. And so we could repeat every year the same survey, just changing the specific things. So uh, we encourage you to repeat uh, this survey with uh, your community. Uh, very well, that's it. Thank you very much.